What's up YouTube? In today's video, I will be putting together this Lamborghini Aventador 3D print that I printed out last night. Uh, I have to say the print quality as well as the design, the STL file, it's great. It's got a lot of details. It really exceeded my expectation for a 3D printed car model. But as you can see, there's lots of uh, smaller parts the details so the whole car is not just one solid block so it's a little bit fun to play with and we're gonna be using super glue to glue the entire car together all the components so without further ado let's get started so the car is broken down to two main pieces the front and the back of the car so it's like a 50 50 split Get a little bit of glue into these holes right here. Sorry, my hand's shaking like crazy right now. I don't know why. And then we're gonna slot this in. Hopefully that will stay. Apply a little bit more glue to seal the edges. And then just glue in the general area for better adhesion. Cause I don't plan on taking them out anytime soon or at all. Here we go. As you can see, the front and the back of the car lines up really well. We're gonna squeeze it and let it dry a little bit, making sure the contours are lined up. If I really want, I can sand it a little bit where the edges connect, but again, I want to print this out uh, for some testing that I will be doing in the future video. But as you can see, it looks pretty good already. And if you really want, you can color it too to make it more realistic, get one of those airbrushes, uh, which is something that I definitely look forward to do in the future when I have a dedicated space for airbrush. Let's do the tail light. push it in all right next up let's do the front windshield hopefully it doesn't come out from the side push it down nice and tight ouch I think I got glue on my finger next up let's do the front the headlight more details for the car. While that's being dried out, let's uh, put the tires on the wheels. I think you can just push it in like that. There you go. Nice and easy. Okay, so we have the wheels done. And while that's being dried, let's glue a couple more details on the body of the car. Now let's glue the wheels on the car and they all fit through this uh, little triangle connection right here, just like that. So I'm gonna apply glue to it. There you go. Perfect, perfect fit. Bam, now the car, it's 
standing on the wheels instead of the base of the car. It's got a bit of weight to it. I think it's about 150 to 200 gram maybe. I mean, that's how much uh, filament it took to print this. And uh, as you can see, there's also the spoiler of the car, which this is the only issue that I'm having with with this print is that there isn't really a clear there isn't really a clear instruction on where to glue this. So if you own a Lamborghini, def definitely let me know where does the spoiler go on the car. I think it's like right here, because that would make sense. It fits the overall contour line of the car. But let's not forget we need a mirror, the backup mirror for the car. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of glue to support this. There you go. A 3D printed Lamborghini F Hunter door. I remember this being my favorite uh, dream supercar. I just love all the edges, all the hexagon design, and the, the rear engine cover, how it's like honeycomb shape. It just looks so cool. Maybe, maybe one day I will be able to get one. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, in the future, I will be doing a DIY wind tunnel testing for all these um, either 3D printed car models or uh, they're like Hot Wheels or cars that you can put together. But yeah, if so if you're interested in all those very nerdy stuff, Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.